Podcasters. Good morning, Mega Podlings. Crazy Joe here. And my gosh, the last couple days have just been uh, very exciting with movie and television news. And I think it's time we address some of these news stories. Uh, first of all, let's look at what we uh, what we got a couple days ago. Star Trek Picard. The untitled Star Trek series about Jean-Luc Picard has a title. It is no longer the untitled Picard series. The title is Star Trek Picard, and it has a really, really cool logo. I'm a big fan of that logo. I love the use of the original series font because I always like the the logo of the original series better than the logo of the next generation myself. So I'm very happy to see the original series font and I love using that uh, the Delta Shield as the A in Picard. It's a very nice looking logo. It is uh, really good. And uh, as for the title, Star Trek Picard, I kind of like it, but I also have a minor criticism about it. Look, a title is a title. The quality of the show is going to be determined by the writing, the scripts, the episodes. So it's almost irrelevant what they call the show, so long as the show is good. And I'm sure it will be good because I have complete faith in this creative team. Star Trek Discovery has consistently been the best show on television, and I don't doubt they'll be able to uh, bring it for Picard as well. But my minor criticism is, I wouldn't have called the show Star Trek Picard. I would have just called it Picard. Just plain and simple, Picard. Because I feel like we know it's Star Trek. And Star Trek colon Picard sounds just a little bit weird to me. I can only speak for myself. But that title just sounds a little bit weird to me. I don't know. I would have liked Picard. Like Logan. Like the third Wolverine movie was just called Logan. Just call it Picard. But no, you know, it's Star Trek Picard. And I kind of know why it's Star Trek Picard too. I don't know how many people remember this. But back in 01, the TV series Enterprise premiered on UPN. And it was the first Star Trek series to not have Star Trek in the title. Uh, the, the Rick Berman and Brandon Braga, who created the show, said at the time, we want to give it a title that says Star Trek without actually using the words Star Trek. So they just called it Enterprise. One word, one word only. Enterprise. Thinking that says it all. Well, fans started complaining. Fans were complaining Oh, Rick Berman is so embarrassed by the word Star Trek that he doesn't even want it in the title. People were actually saying things like that. So by third season, they gave in and changed the title of the show to Star Trek Enterprise. So from seasons three and four, it was Star Trek Enterprise. Still to this day, if you go out and buy the DVDs and the Blu-rays, it's listed on the package as Star Trek Enterprise. Despite the fact that the first two seasons don't actually have Star Trek in the title. And they didn't even go back and put them in. If you're watching a season one episode or a season two episode, the title just comes up Enterprise. And um, they they took flack for it. I, I, I don't understand why. I, I, I was fine with it. But after that flack in 01 for taking Star Trek out of the Enterprise title, I'm sure that's why this show is called Star Trek Picard and not just Picard. Though I would have just called it Picard. I think just Picard would sound better. That's just me. But, I mean, well, what do we know? We don't know much. We know who some of the cast are. We got a couple of images that they released. Or were leaked. I'm not sure what. I mean, we saw some images, though. And we saw a logo. Beautiful logo. Well, I got faith. Because I I trust these writers. I trust these producers. They've done a tremendous job with uh, Discovery. So I don't doubt they're going to do a tremendous job with Picard. Patrick Stewart is on board. I mean, this is so far all good. Now, there's one thing I feel obliged to discuss... I never want to give their name. 
I never want to give their name because I feel like I'm driving traffic and driving clicks to them that I, and I don't want to drive traffic to them because they're terrible. But there is a, a YouTube channel that reports news on Star Trek and they are very clickbaity and very dishonest. Everything they report turns out to be false. Like they, they haven't gotten anything right yet. They, they get nothing right. Literally. Uh, th for uh, two seasons now, they've been reporting on Star Trek Discovery and they have yet to get something, anything right. But they're very, very negative and they're very, oh, Star Trek is in trouble, Star Trek is in trouble, oh my gosh, CBS is in a panic, blah, 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 blah. Uh, but it's all clickbait. It's all to get attention, to get clicks, and, and it works for them. They have a lot of subscribers. I think they have over 100,000 subscribers. So they get a lot of views. And, um, but it's all disingenuous. So this YouTube channel, which has been producing, predicting doom and gloom for Discovery. I mean, every year they talk about how Discovery is a failure and it's on the verge of cancellation. And then every year it comes back for another season. So clearly the show is not a failure. You don't renew failures that are that expensive. You don't give spin-off series to failures that are that expensive. Uh, Discovery is clearly, clearly a hit. But these guys uh, aren't pushing that narrative. Well, now they've been posting video after video about how the Picard series is in trouble. Picard is in trouble. Oh, my God. Shooting delays on Picard. Picard was supposed to go before cameras, and they haven't because the licensees are in revolt. The licensees do not like the production designs that they've seen for the uniforms. Uh, big blah, blah, blah. Well, we now know that this is all total BS. If there was any doubt, we now know. And for me, there was no doubt because these guys haven't gotten anything right yet. But their claim, their claim has been that the licensees were angry because they saw the uniforms on the Picard series and said it was too much of a departure from what we know. And, and this is, this is a, a quote from their video. And quote, there was no way that the uniforms from the next generation era could have possibly evolved into what they're using on the Picard series. And because of this, Picard was on hold. That's the claim. Well, now we have images from the set, so we know, number one, they're full of shit because the show has been shooting. We know because we've seen images. And number two, those images show us Starfleet officers in uniform and this whole nonsense about uh, the uniforms couldn't possibly have evolved from Next Generation to what we're seeing on the Picard show. Again, total, complete bullshit because what we're seeing is essentially the same uniforms they wore on Voyager and the early seasons of Deep Space Nine. The, um, the colored shoulder on a black uniform, you know, that's the colored shoulder pad black uniform that we saw on DS9 and Voyager is appearing in these pictures, which I will, will try to post here. So, no, that's ridiculous nonsense again from these guys. So, normally, I'm the kind of guy who likes to give people the benefit of the doubt. I really do. Early on, when these guys started getting fact after fact after fact after fact wrong about Discovery, my feeling was, well, maybe they just have their intel wrong. Maybe they had a bad source who gave them bad intel. I've since realized, no, they're just trolls. They're just trolls and they don't care if their information is accurate because when they were proven wrong time and again, they never amended their videos. They never came out and said, oh, we got this wrong. We got that wrong. They dug their heels in and tried to um, ride out the lie. 
which which makes me think like, well, how can we possibly take these guys seriously, right? How can you take them seriously when we know what they're saying is wrong and they are going to um, lean into their misinformation? Uh, for example, these guys always make the claim that Bad Robot, J.J. Abrams' production company, is somehow behind Star Trek Discovery and the Picard show. Uh, that is not the case. Uh, they have nothing to do with um, Star Trek Discovery. Bad Robot is definitely attached to the movie arm, but they are not at all attached to the TV uh, arm of Star Trek at all. Not at all. And this is um, not just me speculating. This is provable. You can look at this you know, on the credits of the episode. You can go to IMDb. You can go to the Wikipedia page. You can go to Bad Robot's own website. Um, Star Trek Discovery is not a product of Bad Robot. It's not. So they got called on this by a lot of people saying, hey, you know, you keep equating Bad Robot to Star Trek Discovery. Bad Robot has no connection to Star Trek Discovery. Now, if they were a reputable channel, they would have come out and said, oh, we apologize. We had our, our bad info. We were saying that Star Trek uh, Discovery was produced by Bad Robot. Turns out that's not the case. So um, they would have amended their statements and tried to... Uh, retract the bad info if they were legitimate if they were on the up and up they've just dug their heels in and stuck with this lie because alex kurtzman has a production company called secret hideout and secret hideout is a producer on star trek discovery their claim is that secret hideout is bad robot in disguise bad robot doesn't want you to know that they're producing this show. It's a secret. So they created Secret Hideout as their um, as their fake production company to fool you into thinking they don't have anything to do with it when in fact Secret Hideout is actually Bad Robot. This is insane. It's insane and it's not true. When in Hollywood has someone not wanted credit for something? Only when it's like an Alan Smithy film and the director's embarrassed by what they put out. That's like the only time that happens. Or an actor is um, doesn't like a final product and says, take my name off that. I don't want my name on that. <clears throat> or Alan Moore with The Watchmen. He didn't want Watchmen turned into a movie. He said, don't put my name on that. Uh, this doesn't happen. People in Hollywood want credit for their work, especially something profitable, especially something they stand to make a lot of money from. This is not so and not true and I can't believe anyone believes that I can't believe that these idiots who make these videos think you're dumb enough to buy that and I can't believe that their are hundred thousand plus subscribers buy into their BS because they're so full of crap uh, but that's why I call them trolls. I call them trolls because they've been proven wrong. And if they were legitimate, they would have said, oops, we got that wrong. Instead, they dug their heels in and made up this nonsense about how Secret Hideout is Bad Robot in disguise. Uh, it's stupid. So don't believe any news you hear from a YouTube channel that has an hour of the day in their name. That's all I'm going to say. Because I don't want to drive traffic to them. Don't believe any news you get from a YouTube channel hosted by a man in a mask talking to a puppet. These guys are trolls. They're giving you misinformation. And it's okay for them not to like the show. That's fine. But you can't lie about the show. Like, The Big Bang Theory just ran their last episode last night. I hate the Big Bang Theory. I hate it. I can't stand it. I think it's terrible. But I'd be delusional if I sat here and tried to tell you the show was a failure. My opinion of the show and the facts about the show are two different things. Show is a huge hit. I don't like it, but it's a huge hit. I can't sit here and tell you, no, 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 no. Uh, the Big Bang Theory was a complete failure. Uh, it's run for 12 years because uh, CBS 
didn't want to admit they were wrong. Uh, they're trying to save face by bringing the show back. It's actually a failure. I, you got to laugh me out of the room if I say something that nonsensical. But that's what these guys are doing. So I'm getting off my soapbox. Picard, the, the, the rumors you, uh, that have been out there about Picard is in trouble, now proven false. It is before cameras. The uniforms are very, very uh, Star Trek Voyager, Star Trek Deep Space Nine. So this nonsense about licensees and revolt, again, proven false. And I can't wait until this fall to see the Picard show. I'm very excited. Keep wearing those pajamas. Keep wearing those pajamas. With the plastic feet. Keep wearing those pajamas. Tell everyone you need. Keep wearing those pajamas. With the back door flap. Keep wearing those pajamas. Don't open it to trap. It's a trap. Some people call them bitches. Some people call them jammies. They can come embroidered with big money and no whammies. But no matter how they look, just keep on wearing those pajamas. Keep on wearing those pajamas. Keep wearing those pajamas. And now we're having fun. Keep wearing those pajamas. And now the song is done.